to know about anything else that might incriminate you further. Oh, so you're being a bastard to me for my own good? Yeah, if you want to put it that Oh, way. that's all I needed to know. Well, I wasn't expecting you. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Have you seen Sam? Ah, you've come to discuss my sister. No, I've come to take you out for a meal. But perhaps at this meal, the topic of your sister might come up. Well, I'm already going out. Oh. It's an office thing. Maybe some other time, Trevor. Hi. Hello. Surprise, Kelvin's been talking to you. More than he does to me. Stop it, you two. I wish they could just grow up and talk to me. It doesn't work like that, does it? Pack it in, you know my nerves are shot. Where is Kelvin? He's run off. Run off? He's done it before. Have you told the police? He'll be back. Aren't you worried? He's 15. I was off at 15, totally out of control. It's just that some traumatic things have happened to him recently. He's discovered the victim of a murder. His friend Lyndon's dead. But don't you worry about Kelvin. He's like his mum. Tough as an old boot. Well, do you know where he might be? Steve will know. Steve? Kelvin's brother, Stephen Abbott. They got different dads. He tells Stephen everything. Sorry, Trevor. Problems with our suspect. Claims he got the victim's watch from a prisoner in Park Hall Ning. But the prisoner isn't having it. Well, he wasn't yesterday afternoon, anyway. So, what have you got for me? Uh, more photographs of Millicent Lockwood's injuries. It's just possible someone may have scratched some letters on her abdomen. Look, E, Z. Dr. Ryan didn't mention this. Well, she wouldn't have. Decomposition can show up light abrasions that won't have any drilling. So, someone scratched a message on her stomach. One of the boys has a nickname, Easy. Could be his name. Shall I try and tell you that? Yes. What do you think? They could also just be random abrasions. Viewed from that angle, it looks like NW. It's open to interpretation. And you can't come up with anything more definite? No. OK. Police? No. Social worker? No. Then who are you? And how'd you get a visit in order? Kelvin? I found a body. I'm the pathologist working on the case. And the deputy governor's a good friend of mine. So what's Kelvin to you? I've talked to him. A little. And I like him. I know he's run away from home. And I also know that a good friend of his, Lyndon O'Connor, has just killed himself. Always was a loser. Suicide can be contagious. Your brother recently discovered the victim of a horrific murder. No child can hold that in. It's like a bomb in the brain. Soon it's going to explode, and when it does, it could destroy him. Unless someone's there to help him first. Now, where is he, Steve? Some garages on the estate. One of them's my number 17. He's got a key. Thank you. What did Rachel say about the photographs? Those marks only read EZ to someone who wants to see EZ. Is that what you told her? It's what she knows. Palmer's the killer, Sam. They're sure of that. You've done your bit now. Don't get involved any further. Have they charged them? They're still pulling the case together. Taking the time, aren't they, considering you're so sure? Apparently it all turns on the watch and Palmer's insisting he got it from someone doing time in Park Hall. Trevor Kelvin's brother is serving 18 months in Park Hall. Sam! If the watch came from that prison, Kelvin took it there. Come on! Well, of course he took it! The only reason the police aren't connecting Steve and Calvin is because they're half-brothers. They've got different surnames and their phone Salway and tell her. Where are you going? To find Calvin Price.
Reuben. I need to talk to you. Help me. Oi, that's my boat. Oh, stop, will you? I wish I could go back in time. I'm gonna wake up and do that day again, but different. It's alright. It's alright. I'm gonna see it in my head. It's like someone else did it. That was me. I'm a bad person. It's me who should be dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Shh, no. Come on. It's all right. Shh. What is going on? This is Kelvin Price. I can see it's Kelvin Price. What's he doing here? He's ready to confess to the murder of Millicent Lockwood. Is that right, Calvin? Can you look after a minute, please? What are you doing? Peter, he's in danger of harming himself. I'm in danger of harming you. I have to do something. This case is buggered. Right, thanks to you, our procedures have been so irregular, we might not even get this to court. If he'd killed himself, there'd be no court case to answer, would there? Calvin, come on. Send someone to find your mum. Ben. Ben. Hi. Ben, I have reason to believe you were involved in the death of Mason Lee.